Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we learned how we can deploy our first cloud function. So you know, we just uh, uncommented the code which Firebase gave us and we deployed the function and it was wor working just fine. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write your own function and how the functions work in the cloud function. I thought before I just integrate the Stripe, it is better I give you a little idea of how cloud function is working. Uh, like. If I integrate it and I do not tell you how cloud function and some of its feature is working, it will be difficult for you in the future writing your own function and not understanding what is going on behind the scene. So in this video and another video before I uh, integrate the Stripe, I will just talk about cloud function and how it works uh, so you will have better understanding of what you are doing. So in this video, you will learn about Express, you will learn how you can respond to HTTP requests as well as some other types of uh, func uh, cloud functions that uh, Firebase offers. So let's start. This is the previous code we just uncommented. So I will come to the documentation and I will e start from here. Well, previously, we were going to getting a start for the web. Now what you are going to do is you are going to the admin. What I mean by the admin is whatever you read in the documentation will apply to the functions folder here. If you open your project directory here, functions directory, you will have a separate uh, files for node module for any of your JavaScript as well as package.json. So whatever uh, code you will write in the functions folder, it will d be deployed to the server and that is not going to be in the browser. So that's why you will learn about admin SDK. If I scroll down a little bit, these are all related to the admin SDK and whatever you will write in the cloud function that will run in the server. So I'll open the cloud function from here and in the introduction I will just see how they define cloud function for you and then I will explain how it is going to work with more examples. So this is a cloud function uh, for Firebase let you automatically run code, uh, a background code in response to event trigger by Firebase feature and HTTP request. This is the important part, Firebase feature and HTTP requests. What are Firebase features? Firebase features are what, what we already learned. Like we learn about authentication, we learn about uh, cloud Firestore. Real time database is the same, but the cloud Firestore is the new one. We learn about the storage, how we can upload files, as well as hosting. Now it is the cloud function. All of them are called like Firebase features. What they are going to do is if you see a user is authenticating, you can trigger a cloud function and it is going to do something. For example, a user is going to log into your system and you want to set the user type. You say this user is an author, this user is an admin, this user is a teacher. Something like that can happen behind the scene and that is the background code, that you, the, the backend code that you will run from the cloud function. Also, if someone is uploading a file to your server, you want to resize the image, you can do using the cloud function. If someone is going to write something in your database, you can change those data, do whatever you want. You can set security rules, which we do in the future videos. But for now, if I come here, I will give you some of the example from the cloud Firestore, how the triggers are working here. If I scroll down, these are all the event type. For example, if someone create a document in the cloud Firestore, you can respond to that. You can do something after they create a document. It means they delete something, you can do something. And those are all events. So how you will write your function in this video? I will just write my first function here. You will use the word experts the same way as you had the above and your function name here. I will just give it hello and then I will give it an equal sign. Also I will show you how some of the error handlings like how you might face some errors and I noticed some people got already some errors and I will fix those errors for you. So don't worry. And from here, I would divide this into two sections. The first section is this side of the equation which is in the left and the other side is in the right side of the equ equation. This one is always the same, like you just reuse exports and then the functions name here. After that, this is going to be different. Either this is going to, re this function is responding to HTTP request or any of the cloud uh, like Firebase, uh, Firebase features. So this is what you write here. The above example is an HTTP response. So before I continue this one, if you know 
uh, Express JS. This is similar like to Express. If you don't know, don't worry. If I come to here to the documentation of Express, uh, Express is just a web framework for Node.js. If you are building any Node.js application, you have to know like Express JS. I know some of you guys do not know this one, and you might think this is something new I have to learn or not. I will tell you if you want to become like a fully stack uh, front end developer with Node.js, then you have to learn uh, Node.js. When I say fully stack front end, I mean like nowadays if you are applying for any job, they are going to ask you that are you fully stack? And you say yes, you know JavaScript and you know Node.js. If you know Node.js, you would probably know Express also. What Express is going to do is this is just uh, there are a lot of things it can do. Mostly it uh, it is about uh, HTTP request. It uh, simplifies that, and they also say the API is like HTTP utilities. I will not talk more about this one, but I will definitely show you how this work in the Firebase here, whatever uh, necessary. So, but if you know like ExpressJS, that is fine, and this will make sense and it will be easy for you. If you don't know, that's fine still so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another function another function the same way using http response but this time i want to get some response from the user for example user is sending data from the url i want to capture those data and show that to the user for now this function is responding to an http request and this is the message that it, this is going to show so what i'm going to do is I'm going to say if someone visit this URL, I'm going to say hello and the name of that person. What is the name of that person? Let's say someone is coming to our application and they just write their name in the URL and I want to capture that one. That is called get request from the user. So uh, how you will get the request? You can see on request you have two parameters. The second one is the response. The first one is the request. We use the response right the response just send this notification back to the user how about the request the request will contain all data that comes from the user or from the browser so let's see how you can respond to that one you can use response uh, not response request dot query dot name name is going to be whatever you you will provide for example someone send you a uh, data with the with a key of name with the value of something like John or anything and someone is going to send their last name you can just grab it the last name and display the last name as a value there so for now I will just give it a name here and this is fine for now I will just append it plus and I will save it now let us deploy our function so if I come here uh, so many of you guys are asking like I'm getting error. I'm in the package.json file here. So if I come to the CLI here, I will just cd to functions folder and from here I'm going to deploy my fun my Firebase function. There are some comments like surf and like deploy. Let's try a few of them. I am going to use npm run surf to get some error and I will show you how you can fix it. So I will run it if we get any error. As you can see, the first error is going to say that you have node version 8 and it does not match the global one and it is stopped there. And you might get the same error. I will show you how you can fix this one. If I come here to my package.json, you can see this is version 8, but the global one which is in the cloud, that is version 10, it should be version 10. Now this will not continue unless I install the latest version of cloud function also. This is the comment they give you. I will copy this one and I will just terminate the proceeding here and I'll terminate this one. I'll paste my code again. And this code is going to install the latest version of uh, Firebase function for me. If I run this one, it will take a few seconds to install. So it is installed now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear everything and I will not run that comment again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run npm uh, let me see what are the comments if you check out this one they have upgraded the version of our file so I will come to my code here sorry it just paused my vi my video I don't know why the recorder paused it so I will run npm 
run deploy to deploy my function and it is going to run this command the deploy one and it will deploy my function so I will have access to that so everything was successful and this is where I can access my function so let's open this one in the browser and see what is the difference between the old function and this one so I can open this one and it says hello mm, okay this is hello undefined undefined is because we didn't send any data in the world of HTTP request uh, there are different way of sending HTTP requests like there are different methods you post something you use a uh, get request you use patch request you use delete and some others uh, one also the two common one which is so popular is the get request and post request get request is where you send from the URL or uh, with your data for example you come here and use send a request to this URL also you will send some data like you will put exclamation mark here and you will give a key value here let's say name is a key and the value is let's say uh, only and you will send it this is a get request where you send from URL and there is a post request where you submit a form and it will post some data to a URL or to an endpoint and they can get those data so this is going to be a get request from URL now as you can see I got the data on display here whatever you write it can capture this one because in the function if I come to index.js here I said uh, just append the hello with the request query dot name this one the name should match the key here the name is key and also you can send more data if this is the name you can send uh, last name these are something uh, easy if you already have experience using any backend programming language like PHP or if you have built any uh, web application using Laravel or stuff like that and I know most of the people who watch these videos knows about backend but if you don't know like that's fine and this is how you can send requests like if you want to send last name John and this is going to be the last name and the way you get that key is going to be using the last name here every time you have to save it and that is the get request and this is how you can do that one why you learn this one the reason is because if I implement the stripe JS we are going to send the product ID to the server to cloud function and that way you have to know how you can get those information I can't explain those in one video and also integration of stripe because I spent a lot of time like integrating stripe when I was learning it so it will I hope I can make it easy for you by just uh, showing you like uh, different methods uh, around Firebase before we we do that one that's why I'm just teaching you how you can get those data and this is the get request and how you can do post request that is what we do in the next video also I will show you the postman and how you can send requests using postman to an endpoint and get those data using different types of different methods of HTTP requests using post or patch or any other one so I hope it has been informative thank you for watching and uh, and one thing I'm going to tell you if you are following the video from the beginning uh, please do not clone the github repo uh, because that is an old one and it has a lot of issue like the firebase version was too old that's why it was giving you an error I know how to fix because I know I have worked with a lot of their versions and if you are starting from beginning I just want you to create uh, your project from starting to finish uh, like a brand new project that is what my recommendation is instead of cloning the project from github and then you can get my code from github so that's it for this video i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video